Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel The Stranger by Albert Camus. For regular updates I request you to subscribe our channel, also you can join our community by becoming a member of our channel, you get access to a whole range of exclusive perks that will take your experience to the next level, so, what are you waiting for, joining our channel membership is easy, just click the join button below to unlock all these amazing perks and support our channel directly. Your membership helps us create more content and improve our videos for everyone. The themes of the novel are The characters in the novel are The Stranger by Albert Camus is a philosophical novel that explores the absurdity of life through its protagonist, Massault. Set in Algeria, the story begins with Massault's indifference to his mother's death and follows his detached existence, marked by a lack of emotional expression and societal norms. The novel questions the meaning of life, morality, and existence itself, culminating in Massault's trial for a crime he commits almost impulsively. Through Massault, Camus portrays the human condition as indifferent and chaotic, where individuals confront the absurdity of existence without clear meaning or purpose. The novel opens with the protagonist, Massault, receiving a telegram informing him that his mother has passed away. She had been living in a nursing home in Marengo, a small village outside Algiers. Massault takes time off from work to attend the funeral. Throughout the journey to the village and the funeral itself, Massault displays an unusual emotional detachment. He is more concerned with the physical discomforts of the heat in his surroundings than with his mother's death. At the funeral, he notes the behavior of others, particularly the caretaker and the elderly residents of the home, but feels no sadness or grief. The day after the funeral, Massault returns to Algiers and goes for a swim at a local beach. There, he meets Marie, a former colleague. They spend the day together, swimming and eventually becoming romantically involved. Massault's indifference to his mother's death contrasts sharply with his enjoyment of physical pleasures and his lack of emotional depth. Marie is unaware of the recent funeral and they continue to enjoy their time together, going to a comedy movie that evening. In the following days, Massault returns to his routine. He goes to work and spends time with Marie, who becomes his girlfriend. He also interacts with his neighbor, Raymond Sins, a warehouse worker with a questionable character. Raymond asks Massault to help him write a letter to his mistress, whom he suspects of infidelity. Massault agrees, not out of any particular feeling for Raymond but because he sees no reason not to. Raymond's relationship with his mistress becomes violent leading to her being beaten by him. Raymond is questioned by the police, and Massault, as a witness, confirms Raymond's story. This involvement deepens their relationship. Meanwhile, Massault continues to see Marie and maintain his detached approach to life. His relationship with Marie becomes more serious, and she asks him if he loves her. Massault responds that he doesn't think so, but agrees to marry her if she wants. Raymond invites Massault and Marie to spend a Sunday at a beach house owned by his friend, Masson. They enjoy a pleasant day at the beach, swimming and sunbathing. However, the day takes a dark turn when they encounter a group of Arabs, one of whom is the brother of Raymond's mistress. A fight breaks out, and Raymond is injured. After this confrontation, Massault takes a walk on the beach alone. As Massault walks along the beach, he is affected by the intense heat and sunlight. He encounters the Arab again, who is resting by a spring. Massault is disoriented by the sun's glare and the heat, which seem to overpower him. He notices the Arab has a knife, and in a moment of confusion and detachment, Massault shoots him with Raymond's revolver, which he had taken earlier. After a brief pause, he fires four more shots into the body. This act of violence is seemingly without motive, driven by the oppressive physical sensations he experiences. Massault is arrested and put in prison for the murder of the Arab. During his interrogation, he remains indifferent and unemotional. 
The authorities and his lawyer are baffled by his lack of remorse and his inability to provide a clear motive for the crime. Masalt's indifferent nature and his lack of a conventional emotional response become central to his interactions with the legal system. Masalt's trial begins, and it becomes evident that the court is more interested in his character and beliefs than in the actual details of the murder. The prosecutor and the defense attorney focus on Masalt's behavior following his mother's death, using it to paint a picture of him as a cold, amoral individual. Witnesses from the nursing home and his acquaintances testify about his lack of emotion, and his relationship with Marie is scrutinized. The prosecutor argues that Massault's actions at the funeral and his lack of belief in God demonstrate a dangerous and immoral character. Despite his lawyer's efforts to defend him, Massault is convicted of murder. The court sentences him to death by guillotine. Throughout the trial, Massault remains detached, more interested in the process itself than in his fate. His indifference and lack of conventional morality lead the court to view him as a threat to society. While awaiting execution, Massault reflects on his life and his impending death. He struggles with the isolation and the finality of his situation. A chaplain visits him, attempting to provide religious comfort but Massault rejects the chaplain's faith and insists on the meaningless nature of existence. This encounter leads Massault to a moment of clarity, where he fully embraces the absurdity of life and the inevitability of death. In his final moments, Massault finds a sense of peace and acceptance. He realizes that life is absurd and devoid of inherent meaning, but this realization frees him from the need to conform to societal expectations. He accepts his fate and looks forward to his execution with a sense of tranquility. Massault's journey concludes with his embrace of the absurd, finding solace in the acceptance of the meaningless nature of existence. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.